Hey everybody, Kyrie091 hanging out alongside you. Boy oh boy are we going to have big fun today playing a little bit of old school RuneScape. So today, me and uh, Mr. Apocalypse aka Rage, we're going to finish the Falador easy tasks because they are in fact easy. Uh, well I'm going to start by filling a bucket with... I'm going to start by filling a bucket with water. You know, God, there's a general store right here. Use bucket on water pump. There we go. Empty bucket. Here you go, buddy. You want this bucket? You do a lot of buckets when you do farming. Here you go. See that? Okay. Bucket. Bam. Alright, and then fill it up with that little water pump. And I'm gonna go inside and get a haircut while he's using the little water pump. So let's get a haircut from this guy. Change my hairstyle. Okay, so the color is fine, but I guess the style will go with just whatever. It doesn't really matter, I'll go with this dumb one. Yeah, yeah, I do. Hope you like the new do. Okay, so there you go. One more achievement out of the way. Got a haircut. Okay. And then let's go to the uh, furnace and make our, our blank tiaras real quick. I'll, 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 I'll make mine, then I'll give you the tiara mold. Um, what's your crafting? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I know what to do. Alright, so let's go into the furnace room. What's up? Oh, yeah? Okay, so you got a postman peep. Alright, trade with me and I'll give you the tiara mold. Okay, and then you can make your blank tiara. There you go. So you got the blank tiara. Let's go to Falador Park real quick. Give it to me in the park. I gotta go kill a duck. This duck was making fun of me. Can you believe that? Hey, where, how do I do it? Oh, attack duck. Got him. So there's one more. Uh, the farmer stop. The farmer store is over here. That girl. Where is she? Okay, we need to buy stuff from. We need to browse Sarah's farm shop. Where is Sarah's farm shop? I thought it was right here. No, no. Falador. Browse Sarah's farm shop. Is it back here? Where is the farm shop? I thought it was right here. Oh, there we go. That's her. This is it. Done. I browsed it, didn't I? Yes, look. Let me see if it's checked off. No, it's not. Let's talk to her and see if this is Sarah. Yes, please. Okay, I don't think this is the right thing, because that didn't work. That must not be Sarah, huh? Is there anyone else in here? Oh, is that Sarah? No. Heskel? Who are you, Heskel? Wow. Oh! Oh, that's Cecilia. That's not Sarah. Farm. Sarah's farm, you guys, is actually down here, just south of Falador. This is Sarah's farm shop. We'll go there in a minute. Let's look at the rest of these first. Um, climb over the western wall. Find out your family crest. Okay. Okay, so how do we find our family crest? That's probably in the castle. So let's go to Falador Castle. 
and then we're gonna make a mind tiara. Do you know where the mind altar is, buddy? I think I do. Okay. Yeah, then, yeah, I think I know where. The, and the body is on the other side, I think. Somewhere on the first floor of this castle is some nerd who can tell us family crest information. Buddy, keep your eyes open. Okay, well, he's not this way because there's nothing over the way I went. Should have gone with you. Why is he attacking you? Did you hit attack him? No, I was dumb. All right. Oh, that's where he is. I bet he's over here. So when you come back down, does he just like stop attacking you? Like he's like, oh, we're cool now, because you went up the ladder. All I needed to do was watch you go upstairs. Now I'm not mad at you anymore. <laughs> Where is he? Best guess as to where we can find this nerd? I think he's on the first floor. Okay, so let's go up to the second floor and look around. Found him, he's sitting at this desk. Sir Renid. Renity. What can I do for you? What can you do for me? That's a great question. Okay, so tell me my family crest. You can see if I have a family crest. What is your name? Kyrie091. Hmm, let me see. Oh boy. Wait, that didn't count? What? It'll work for you, I bet, because you have a house. He's not going to tell me because I don't have a house. All right, guys, I'm going to go buy a house. <laughs> guys, I didn't realize what a hole I was getting myself into, but I'm going to buy a starter house right now. So I guess I'm starting construction and training it until I can get a freaking wall decoration. I'll do that in a minute. The next step I want to do is I want to try to do some of the, the rest of these achievement diary things. Like, for example, uh, climb over the western wall. I bet I can go do that right now. I hope I can. If I have level I have level 30 agility. That should be enough, right? I think there's a shortcut. There it is, yeah. So let's take a look. And you know what else I'm curious about? There's a little mining pit over there. I wonder what's in there. Okay, so let's see here. Climb over the wall. Yes. Maybe. Climb over crumbling wall. Can I get over it? I did, and I completed a task. I'm going to see what's in this mining pit real quick before we continue on with these achievement diaries. Coal. What is that? Tin or something? Iron? This isn't a bad little mining spot. And it's kind of close to a bank, too. Um, time to use the ring for the first time. Energy. Boom. Refill my energy for free. Okay. Uh, so... I don't even know what level you need to do this shortcut, but... Easy. Okay. So what's the next thing? Next thing we're gonna go to make a mine tiara. Do you wanna go do that real quick, buddy? No, we just made a silver tiara. We gotta add the mine talisman to it. So let's head up to the mine altar, which I think you said it's to the left of the mountain, right? It's like right here. Yeah, I think so. So that's where we're headed next, guys. And then uh, this this one about the the, the house or the family crest has just become a lot more complicated because I didn't realize we're going to have to freaking do a whole lot more than I thought we were. Um, I'm also going to need Blurite because we're going to make some Blurite limbs on Doric's anvil, which is going to require some Blurite. And I don't have any, uh, but I think we can get it from the Grand Exchange because I don't feel like going all the way down to that mine and getting it. Isn't this where the thing is? No. Dang it. I'll see you guys over there. I'm not going to make you watch me. So let's use the mind talisman. I think this is the mind altar. It looks like it. It's glowing orange. So we're going to use the mind talisman. 
And we are now at the Mind Altar. Uh, and now, instead of crafting runes, I think what I gotta do is use this tiara on the altar. And there we go! Mind tiara made. That was easy. I'm gonna go to the Grand Exchange to buy, uh, Blurite. You want me to grab a piece for you while I'm here, buddy? You don't want to do any more of the... That's okay, you don't have to. I'm gonna finish them, though. I'm gonna finish them today. I don't care if I have to go do some stupid construction first. I'm gonna finish them. Uh, yeah, so... You actually need, like, 25 constructions Really? I don't know. Okay, so I need to get a security book from the... from the security guard at the jail. I need to browse Sarah's farm shop. So those two things are gonna be easy. The Blurite thing is not gonna be too bad. Actually, I'm gonna go do one more. Yeah, that one's easy. And while you're down there, you might as well go to the Port Serum Jail and get the security book. It's easy. It's like next to it, kind of. Okay, um, I will see you guys somewhere. What? Wait. I can't buy Blurite? So I have to mine it? Let me take a look at my smithing thingy. Blurite. Yeah, I guess I have to go to freaking... Ugh, what a pain in the butt. Okay, that's fine. I'll see you guys in the cave. Okay, so this should be Sarah's farming shop down here at Falador Farm. There's Sarah. Let's go take a look at her shop, and that should check that off the achievement diary. Thank you. Oh, does she have a saw? No, of course not. I'm going to need a saw <laughs> to do construction. I thought maybe she'd have it. Nails... So, while we're down here in this general area, I'm going to go to the Port Serum Jail. Wait. Port Serum Jail? There's a Port Serum Jail? I thought there was a Draenor Jail. There's a Port Serum Jail? Do they mean Draenor Jail? No, yo, there's a Port Serum Jail. Okay, where is it? Dude, go, go watch your Dragon Seal video, Pulp 201, and you'll see you go to that jail. I don't know where it is. I'm here. I'm looking at Port Serum on the map. No, go down, down, down. It's right there. Oh, okay, cool. Man, it's been a while since I did Dragon Slayer, I guess, huh? If I don't even remember that. All right, so let's go down to Port Serum Jail, and this is we're get we're getting close to being done with this achievement diary. I'm not gonna make you guys watch most of my construction stuff on camera because, I mean, let's be honest, that's not what this episode's about, so. Uh, this is the Port Serum Jail, I'm told by Apocalypse 2012. Cause, cause, cause I'm dumb. Oh, the goblin? So, let's talk to the guard and he should give us a security book. Maybe I should let him- no! He's asleep. Wake up! No! Do I need to give him... I bet I need to give him freaking beer. Dang it. Okay, I'll be back with beer. Okay, so I bought some beer. I got a beer. I gotta go give it to the guard now. Hopefully that'll wake him up. Be extra careful here to not accidentally drink this beer. And let's right-click use beer on this, this guard. And hopefully this will wake him up. Wake up, you. No? Talk to guard. Maybe I should let him sleep. No! Maybe I should let him sleep. Wake up! Wait. Try using the hammer on the guard. <laughs> Nothing interesting happens. Doesn't sound like I did it right. I am seriously lost here. I have no idea how to do this one. Is there a guard upstairs, maybe? Oh, there's more up here. Okay, is there a named one, or are they all just guards I could fight? Security guard. That guy. That's who I want to talk to. The guy downstairs has nothing to do with it. I bought this beer for nothing. Here's a security book for you. Thank you. Okay, so I did that one. That was easy enough. So now we gotta go. I will meet you guys. I'm gonna go downstairs, and I'm gonna go into this mine down here and mine some more Blurite ore. So, as per usual, we're gonna get attacked while we're down here because these guys don't know what's good for them. 
Uh, so I'm gonna mine a little bit of blurite. I'm gonna mine a few pieces so I can give one to Apocalypse if I'm allowed to. And how much experience did I get from mining that stuff? Probably not much. Let's see here. It's not very much. It's only like 17. So. Oh, I need like 200 and something. I, if I was in like the motherload mine, that would be like two seconds. That's a good place for leveling up. So, I have enough blur right here. I'm gonna head back to Falador. Um, I, I'll try. Sure. Are you in Falador? No. Oh, are you down there? Do you have a pick with you? No. Oh no! <laughs> All right. So, do you want me to give you an ore or a blur right bar? Okay, so I'm just going to give you the ore, okay? Or do you want me to make it into a bar for you? Okay. Alright, so I'll meet you guys at Dork's Anvil. Okay, guys, over here at Dork's Anvil. So we're going to come inside. Which you do have to have Dork's quest completed or he won't let you use his dumb anvil. Because I guess he thinks he's really cool. Uh, so let's use the blu ray bar on the anvil. And we're gonna make, what do we gotta make? Crossbow limbs, right? Okay. So we got that one done. The only task that we're missing for Falador is find out the family crest, which we can't do until I get some levels up in. Uh, what do I have to level up? So this is my first time at my house. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is leave. <laughs> And I'm going to come in in build mode this time. Okay, so in build mode, as you can see, there's like places where I can put plants. Little tip jar. Oh, you forgot uh, a saw. You actually need a saw. I need a saw. I can do rug space. I can do, is there a wall decoration space in this room? No, I guess I need a different room. Fireplace. Okay, so I need to go get a saw. I'm not really sure where I can buy a saw other than the Grand Exchange. I guess I'll go there and buy one, but... So let's use one of my one of these guys to get to the Grand Exchange. Oh, I guess I can't do that that way yet. That's fine. Um, okay. So I guess I'll just teleport to Varrock. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the Grand Exchange. I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff that I need for construction, like plate uh, planks. When you go into the blood eye and go mine blood eye, you'll see 140 skeleton ribs up there. Be careful of those guys. Alright, so at my house real quick, I'm, I hate that it brings me in in this mode. I want to come in in build mode. Alright, so let's go to build mode. And let's uh, see here. Plant, where's my bag plant? Bag plant one, you're going to go right there. Nothing interesting happens. Why can't I do it? What level do I have to be to do freaking bag plants? What is this? Construction. Low level plants, one. Okay, what about the tree? I can do the tree, right? Build big tree space, okay. Level five to do that one, so I can't plant the tree. Uh, build big plant space. There we go, bag plant one. Watering can, oh my god. Oof, okay. Okay, guys, let's fill up the watering can. We're going to use this thing over here to do it. Why not, right? Because that's where we're doing achievement diaries in Falador. Might as well use the water pump to do it. So we got a full watering can. Now let's head back to the house, and it'll take us in in dumb mode, and we'll have to leave and come back in in build mode. Build mode. Okay, so now we're here in build mode. So now I can... Small plant space, I can do a bag plant one. Cool. There we go. Cool, cool. So let's do bag plant, another bag plant over here. And let's do another bag plant over here. I think you need a shovel with you to be doing this. So I, I brought a shovel, thankfully. Farming level two. Grow marigolds. I don't have a... Oh. Can now do torn curtains and brown rug. Okay, do I have another bag plant with me? I have a thorny hedge. I don't have a spot to grow that, but whatever. Let's go inside the house and see if there's anything in here I can build. Let's see if I can do anything with the bookcase space. 
level four to do anything over there. Can I do chairs? Can I do chairs? Yeah. You're right. Crude wooden chair. Let's do it. Rad. So? Oh, you can even sit down. Look. Sit down. Level three construction. You can build a clay fireplace. I do have clay. So let's uh, let's check out this chair now. Crude wooden chair. And there's that. Can I remove this and rebuild it just to get more more experience? Really remove it? Yes. Let's build it again. <laughs> What's up? Try try to sit down. I I will. Okay, level four wooden bookcase. Cool, cool. Let's do that. Sit down. Sit on chair. Okay. Comfy. Oh, wait. All right, let's now build. Go to your house if, if your house was in the build wooden wooden bookcase. Actually, wait, it just said I can do. Oh, I don't have enough freaking. Mm. Yeah, I know, buddy, but he he'll leave your house and go to the bank for you. Is what I'm trying to say. So let's go to the fireplace space, and we're gonna build the clay fireplace. Very nice, very nice. And let's build a bookcase. Construction level five. I can build a kitchen, and I can build a fire pit, tree, decorative rock, and a cat blanket. Okay, so let's go ahead and plant the, we got trees, let's plant them. I don't know if it'll let me because of farming, but let's see. Cool, it let me. Let's put another tree up here. Yeah, I'll take a look at your house a little bit here. Okay. And let's build a kitchen over here. Kitchen level five, 5,000 coins. Uh, That'll work. Build it right there, just like that. That's fine. Okay. I actually don't like where I put my kitchen at all, but that's okay. Can I build a table or anything yet? No? Level 12 before I can do a table? Cat basket. I can do that, but I don't have the stuff with me, I don't think. Bolt of cloth, yeah. So I'm going to need some cloth so I can do things like the curtains. Huh? Okay, I will. Nails, bolts of cloth to do that. Alright. Um, what do I need here? Fire pit. I can do this with steel and soft clay. Sink. I need steel, but I'm not level high enough level yet. Okay. Construction coming along nicely here. It's... I don't know, the first few levels kind of blow by once you get going here. I'm using a lot of nails, but uh, see what I mean? I'm already level 10. I can build a dining room. You can build wooden dining bench, wooden dining table, a nice tree, and a pond. So let's see if I can build this table right now. Level 12. Oh, I, oh it's a dining room table. Well, it only makes sense that the dining room table should be right here, but... I have a feeling I need coins to do it. Yes, I do, so meow. Okay, guys, so I think we are ready to wrap up this very long episode. It wasn't as long for you as it was for me uh, because I got to go back to Falador and get them to freaking give me a family crest now that I finally got level 16, well, actually level 17 construction so I can go find out what my stupid family crest is and finally finish this Falador easy. Easy achievement diaries? I don't know if I'd call it easy. Our stupid family crest thing you done here. Okay, can you see if I have a family crest? What is your name? Carries your name to Let me see. Thanks, that's fine. I'll take that stupid crest. I really don't care. Okay. Easy tasks. Speak to Reprol in the Falador Castle Courtyard. Cool, cool. So we did all the easy tasks. Now let's go talk to that Rebrol guy. And hang on. Climb down ladder. I think I remember the what the prize is for this. It's like a ring that Well, I actually don't remember. I think it lets you teleport to the cabbage patch or something, but let's go see. This guy down here, Rebrol is the guy that will give us our prize. Woo! That took a little while. I'm done. I'm done with it though.
Want to get a reward? Yes, please. What is it? If you ever lose your shield, come back to me to reclaim it. Bye! So what does this shield do that he gave me? Oh, recharge prayer! What, is, what can happen if I check it? I have one charge. Okay, so I can recharge prayer with this shield. That's kind of cool. And it looks fashionable, too. And I got a lamp! Um... What do I want to use this on, buddy? Prayer again? You think so? Use them prayer. 2,500 prayer experience. Alright, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Kyrie 091, wish you a wonderful day. We'll join us next time. I don't know what we're going to do, but I am done playing for now. Bye bye. Hey everybody, this is Kyrie091. If you enjoyed this video, or maybe you just like the sound of my voice like I do, consider subscribing to the Kyrie channel for more big fun.